Hello, hello. I wanted to talk today about being pissed off. Yep, being pissed off. And I normally don't comment. I just posted on my TikTok a reply to a lady who was telling me that my video angered her, right? And so I commented, and normally when I do those tags or comments on, you know, people that commented on something negative, I mean, comment on my video, I'll, I'll pull something else positive because I like to show the positive comments so that I can get more of the positive comments because I believe in the law of attraction, right? Right? The thoughts that you put out, the energy you put out is like a force and it comes back to you and that's what you see in your physical reality. That's what I mean when I say I believe in the law of attraction, right? So I did a video because I felt like it was a teachable moment. It was a short video on TikTok, but I wanted to expand on that particular video here on this here uh, live. A person or situation cannot anger you or piss you off. Least that anger is already inside of you because life happens through you, not to you. So it's just like those people that's driving home after work with that road rage, for example, and they cut you off. You know, they'll, they'll give you the finger. <laughs> they'll, they'll blow their horn at you. They'll do something to you because they're pissed off of where they are in their life, in their journey, because that anger was there already. Now you could be the duck if you choose to be the duck and pick up that energy from them. Take that energy from them because energy is not created nor destroyed. It's simply transformed. You could pick it up from them and you could allow them just because they gave you the middle finger. You could allow that energy to piss you off. And then when that energy piss you off, now you are just as mad as them. Now you done transferred it. Now you go home and you, you don't want to cook and you mad at your spouse or, or mad because you got to do homework with your children because that person transformed that energy to you. See, that's how that goes because it was inside of you already. Now that person's energy probably was inside of them because maybe they didn't get the promotion that they wanted. Maybe they don't even probably want to work. Maybe they were tired that morning and didn't want to go to work. Maybe they had an um, argument with somebody before they left from work. Maybe it could even go as far back as their childhood life when they just felt like life just was shitty for them and things wasn't fair. That thing could go back to when it was a little boy or a little girl and they just walking around just, just with this angry energy that they never, they never went in and dealt with. So they're going to give it out to everybody in their physical reality because why? Life happens through you, not to you. So I'm angry. I got to give you some. I got to give you some because that's all that I have to give is my anger. So, so look at me. I'm here. I'm here on a Monday. I, I'm on a journey where I've already been inside of myself and I know myself. Right? I'm passionate about speaking and teaching other people about consciousness and sharing my story. That's what I have to give. And look what I'm giving to you. I'm giving you the part of me that I have. That's, that's what I have. So that's what I give. So if you're walking around in a physical reality talking about, this shit pissed me off. Look at that right there. I'm angry because of her. No, no, no. It's because of that right there. No, always. I promise you, it's always because of this right here. Because as within... So without, so when you, when I told, I was expanding in this particular little TikTok and telling this lady, so when you going down your little feed, you could keep on trolling, you know, to, to, to test your, your ability to, to be positive instead of allowing the anger to overtake you, you could keep on scrolling and you could choose, you could always choose another thought. You could always choose not to comment. You see, and when you do something like that, you, you're lessening that anger. You're allowing that to subside and you're trying to find the good even though you might be in a shitty situation at that moment. You look for good because you don't want more shitty. Because if you keep on paying attention to more shitty and give more energy to more shitty, more shitty shall come because the blessings of God are gay and amen and it goes according to how you feel. So now you're on a spiral. You're going down the rabbit hole, but you're going down to shitty lane. So instead... You could keep
keep on scrolling. If something upsets you on TikTok, on, on YouTube, on any social media platform, even if you're on the road, if it upsets you, you can keep on going. If somebody gave you the finger, you could you could just keep on going. You ain't gotta give them the finger back. You ain't you ain't you ain't gotta chase them down the road. You ain't gotta swipe the car. You you could keep on going. You always have that option to diffuse the situation instead of ignite the situation. But you're gonna choose the option that's inside of you always. You're going to choose what you have to give that person always because life is happening through you. And so just like on TikTok, it coincides with how the universe works. If this lady got pissed off by that one video, <laughs> guess what now? She commented. She gave energy. She emitted energy to me, to something that she felt like pissed her off. And so now TikTok is going to think that she likes my content. TikTok is going to give her more and more and more of me because she commented. She watched the video all the way through and she commented. You see, so she's going she to see me again. That's just like the universe or your subconscious mind, which is the universe. <laughs> The blessings of God are gained, amen, and it goes according to how you feel. So, so when you put a thought or a feeling out there by thinking about it, by, by, by showing your anger toward it, so that thought and that anger is an electromagnetic field of energy and the universe is saying, oh, okay, she wants more anger. Give her more. <laughs> because, see, God brings on the just as well as the unjust. Everybody is getting what they are asking for. This is why the biblical text says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and that door going to be wide open. So now this lady is going to be dealing with me again and again. And then she got a video of me, me telling her how to work on her anger. So she's going to she gonna be able to watch that video too again. And maybe that video might piss her off and she'll be going down the spiral continually into more anger. This is how the law of attraction really works. <laughs> thought by thought by thought, you, me, we are creating our reality. Thought by thought by thought. And so this lady or you or me, and this is what I like to do. I'm t telling you what I do. When I go down scrolling on that for you page, when I'm scrolling, I'm, I'm giving hearts. I'm giving hearts. And if it is something that energetically isn't that pleasing maybe to my eye, I'm not following all the way through. You got, you got five seconds with me. You got a good five seconds with me to, for me to look at a video. And in my mind, okay, let's say, let's say okay, it's the video about somebody. God, I saw this is beautiful black lady. Oh, Lord, she was so pretty. She looked like me alone. And she, she, the first five seconds, I saw her beauty. And I realized, oh, this, this is a video about uh, her husband proposing to her because he said, I said yes. And so, and so, okay, I love, love, I love things that make me feel good. But in the first five seconds, what I was paying attention to, okay, what, what frequency we on right here? Do I want more of this right here? And so when I realized things about love, I, I milked the moment. I was like, oh, I like this. Oh, this is beautiful. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby, you need to say yes again. That's what I typed in the comments, you know, because I want to see more things like that. So that's what I give my energy to. I'm going to spell. I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to do some spelling to myself because as within, so without. And when I cast that spell, it's going to come on me. It's going to be a reflection of me. So I'm going to spell it out. And I put in that comment section, baby. You need to say I do again. Say I do every day because I do looks good on you because she was glowing, right? So I listened to it all the way through. I think I probably listened, looked at it maybe about three or four times to be honest with you. And then I commented on it and I gave it a heart and I'm sending a signal with my actions, with my thought, with my feeling to the universe. Give me more of that. Yeah, I like when I see my reflections on that frequency right there. Now, now let me tell you, all of my little ones that I swipe to, like I said, I do the five-second method. All of them ain't going to be saying I do. Some of them are going to be like, well, you know, they trying to stop us from, oh, I got to go, I got to go, I got to swipe. Five seconds. And, and so, so that let me know that was, that was a victim right there. That was a victim. Oh, they don't get it just yet. They don't get it just yet. 
Because as within, so without. So in the first five seconds, they told me, they told me everything I needed to know about that energy, that frequency. And so I don't want that in my reality. I don't want that sinking into my subconscious mind that there's a day out there that's trying to get me because life happens through me, not to me. And when you're really conscious, you become accountable for your energy. And so, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not about to comment on there and tell them, look, because they didn't come to me for, for my wisdom. I'm not going to just sit up there and just go ahead and do a consultation in the people. Comment. Tell them, look, you need to come over here. Look, let, let me, let me. No, no, no. <laughs> let the people go. They're on their own journey. I'm here for the good stuff. I'm here for the love. I'm here from that biblical text that says, finally, my brother. Whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are lovely. If they have any virtue in them, think on these things. I'm looking for the thing that I could want to think about. Oh, I, I, I want to remember that girl that got married and was full of love and just glowing and so happy. And I saw her joy. I don't want to remember the days, the days that are out. Who the hell is the day? Nobody is here but me. All of this is happening in my kingdom here. I'm creating all of this here. All of this is me. This house is me. I created this through thought. My financial status is me. I created that through thought. <laughs> my mother and father, my sister and brother, me. I created, I picked this, I chose this life. Because I knew that it would be the way that I would want to go on my journey of becoming. I chose. You're choosing. We are choosing everything. And when you get in a point in your journey where you're accountable for that, you understand this at a grand scheme of things and you will respect the law of assumption. You will respect the law of attraction and you'll get yourself in alignment with your higher self and you say, yeah. I know, I chose it, yeah. Yesterday, to be honest with you, there was this guy. I forget this guy's name, but if you was on that live, you know this to be true. There was a guy, and this guy was saying that he was my husband, right? Or he, he loved me or something. I don't know. He, he was, you know, flirting. Let's put it like that. Maybe he was flirting. I don't know. I was reading all the stuff that he was saying because he was just coming so much, and I'm trying to stay focused on my message. But if you was on that live yesterday, he kept coming at me. And so Kilo was on that live. This is this is somebody, one of my reflections that um, follows me. And Kilo, she she was saying, "Oh, I'm so happy you got rid of him because I muted him to get off of the particular live." And she said, "I'm happy you got rid of him." And she's like, "But I thought you was gonna say that I attracted him, or because because I always teach her and others that life happens through you, you know." And everybody is you pushed out, right? But here's the thing that I didn't share with y'all on that live yesterday. No, that wasn't you, Kilo. That was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stand here and show you how accountable I am with my energy. And I want you to show, I want you to hear this because you need to become accountable with yours. So when, when, she, when she was saying that, I was thinking to myself, no, babe, that's me. Because the night before, before I went to sleep, you know how I normally go to sleep and I drift off to sleep and I think about the things that I, I'm creating, I'm living in my end. But this this year, night before, before I went to sleep, I went to go check on um, um, uh, Kiki, somebody that is a reflection that I, I like and I DM'd her to say hi or something like that. And I was tired, but she had came to my mind and I thought about her and so I'm, I messaged her. And while I was in my DMs, they had two other guys in my DMs, right? When I'm drifting off to my nothingness where I love to create from, right? They were telling me that, that they were my husband. They, you know, they, that, you know, God, their God, like, sent them to me. And I didn't know nothing about it, right? And so I was like, girl, I got to get out of this DM. Because now I got people up in here telling me that I'm their, their wife. And then I laughed about it in my mind. I'm like, man, this is, this is crazy. I got a lot of husbands on TikTok. I didn't even really know about them. I don't even know their names. I don't really know how they look. That The, the picture is so tiny. So I, I laughed in the inside, but I was drifting off to sleep. And I went to sleep with that on my mind. 
And how you feel to be careful what you're going to sleep on because even the biblical text says don't go to sleep angry. You're attracting, you're sending that to the nothingness. I woke up and the first thing that I saw when I opened my phone was another guy talking about I was his wife. So sure enough, when I got on my live, <laughs> I'm being accountable here. When I got on my live, there was somebody in my live interrupting my live, nine stop on my live, telling me that he liked me in so many words. You see, because your thoughts, my thoughts went out. I didn't mean to think that thought before I went to sleep. I normally live in the end of a, a wish fulfilled when I go to sleep. But because that message came in the DM, I drifted to sleep thinking about that. And my whole yesterday was about a whole bunch of men who was my husband. And I don't even know none of these men. But I'm saying that to say to you, oh, you have to be accountable for those habitual thoughts that you're thinking. Now, see, nobody was around when I was thinking this thought. This thought did not come out as if it was speech. I was laying down, <laughs> thinking, having a thought like, dang, what, what, why, why, why do you think I'm the wife? I mean, I'm here to help them consciously. I'm about the soul. That's the most important thing. Or the really only reason why I'm coming forward. And they're talking about some physical, even in the biblical text. They say, there ain't no marriage in the kingdom. <laughs> what, is, what are they talking about here? But if I were to turn back around, I can see how life, my life, my thoughts is happening through me. And I want you to see that on your journey. You, you don't, don't, be, don't be acting like, oh, I wonder how that happened. Oh. Well, you know what? I was just thinking about that. My God today. What? It's you. I promise you it's you. Everyone is you pushed out. Meaning everybody going to do what you sitting up there thinking that they were going to do. Yeah, because life is happening through you. You. You right there. You up there. The 33 up there. Oh, Kiki up there. He can know this to be true. Life is happening through you. To your anger, your anger because of you and what you went through maybe years ago, but you gotta sort that out because all you're gonna get is angry stuff. Stuff that's gonna make you more angry. Look at the universe and your subconscious mind is not being able to really hear you even though your words do have power. Yes, they do. But if you look at it as if, wait, nobody can hear me. I'm here in this physical, and I have, I have help, but the help is only going to help me based upon how I feel. When you pretend that in, in, in your human imagination that how you feel really freaking matters, and there's just like a higher being, or God, or your angels, or maybe your ancestors, or whatever you give your energy to, that's looking down on you and trying to figure out what, you, what you're saying, but they're looking more at how you're feeling and what you're thinking while they look upon you experiencing this thing called life, then you'll get yourself together. You'll be like, yeah, this makes me feel good. That make me feel good. That make me feel good. Oh, I'm gonna get my attention over here because I want more of that. And you give no energy to people or things or situations that makes you feel like it's pissing you off or making you angry because you know darn well, I don't want no more of that over there. I don't want my higher being or my God, my ancestor looking down on me saying the blessings of God are yay, amen, amen, let's give her more bull crap. No, you don't want them or it to see you in distress. You want it to see you at ease. Saying all oh, things are working out for me, man, everything just perfect. Perfect, I manifested the house that I desired, it is perfect. I went to the store the other day to go buy me a, a office table and I decided to come back with a little $10 little small little table because guess what? I'm enjoying this little nothing. There's so much that I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Because that's how perfect I feel in here. That's how perfect. That's how much my cup runneth over in here. Like, I, I done had all of that already. I just, I just want to be... <laughs> And I'm just happy with being, just happy with exploring, just happy. 
Just for no reason, not because of this here thing or that thing, because I just feel so good, because my cup running over. And so my higher self, my God, my, my ancestors or whatever it is I will reference would see me happy and perfect and peaceful and they'll just give me more. <laughs> so every day just going to be more goodness. Every day. Every day. Yesterday I was sitting outside. And I poured, I put a, I bought a little bird feed. I went to Ace Hardware. You probably remember that TikTok because I was, I was in the car laughing because the man asked me if I wanted to work a job, and I had just got on retirement, and I'm like, a job? Oh no, buddy, you, you talking to the wrong one? No, but I don't want work. But I was in Ace Hardware to buy a little, a little mounting stick for the little, um, the little hummingbirds for hummingbird feeder. And yesterday I just sat outside in the sun, and the sky was so beautiful. And in my mind, I've just been saying, oh, I'm perfect. Everything's just so perfect. And I'm just basking in the feeling of perfect. And lo and behold, the hummingbird finally came. I had been waiting for him since maybe June 12th, I think it was, when I bought that. And I had been waiting for them to come. And oh, my God, the hummingbirds came. And I was like, oh, my God. I was already feeling perfect. Now the hummingbirds are here, and I don't even know of another word greater than perfect, but thank you so much for coming over. Tell, I started talking to the hummingbirds, tell, tell your friends to come, because I just love to see you. I think you're just the cutest thing in the world. I give my attention to that thing that I want more of, and I get more, and I get more, and I get more, and this is how the law of attraction works, and I get more, and I get more, and I'm not going to be sitting up there thinking about the things that piss me off. I'm not going to have no habitual thoughts about what's angering me. No, 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 because I am perfect, and everything around me is perfect. Perfect. You gotta get like you gotta get a high of being perfect. You gotta just want it all the time and look for it. If you don't have it in here, God damn it, let me open up TikTok and let me find all the things that's happening to other people in other reflections like that are perfect. I'm gonna give my attention to that because look like their cup is overflowing, so they have enough to spare. So I'm gonna sip off of some of their overflow so I can get back to being and feeling perfect. Man, y'all just don't know how beautiful life is. Y'all don't know my story. Y'all don't know my journey that I've been on for a long time. And it feels as though that I've unlocked a secret, so to speak. <laughs> a ability to create a reality that's full of love and joy and peace. Ability to be a master of my thinking. Oh, man. Because a true master must master themselves. Baby, in all you're getting, get an understanding. But I want you to get an understanding of yourself. <laughs> because when you get an understanding of yourself, then you understand everything around you. Because that life is happening through you. You are the universe. The universe is within. <laughs> the universe is within. Woo. Everything is perfect. Okay, I had to get that off my chest, y'all. I had to get that off my chest. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all so much for being here. Let me see. I saw you up in here, Kiki. Let me go back up to the top. Because I was running my mouth. I was running my mouth. Let's see. Ooh. Philip says she's live. Hi, Demi. Thank you for being here. JT. Okay. Okay, here we go. They lack self-control and emotional intelligence. Yeah, 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 I know I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know what that's about swagger. Yeah, it's easy to blame someone else. It is, it is, but it's you. And I'm not being ugly to nobody, but it be you. Because once upon a time, it was me. I was angry. And so that lady, that lady is really a reflection of myself, my older self. That's all I'm meeting. I'm meeting, and that's all you meeting. Reflections of your older self, your current self, your higher selves. That's all your reflections are that are out there. So she's my older self. So I had to be easy with her, but I had to let her know. I had to give her a little tip, though, to let her know, hey, it's time to work on that anger. Because you're just going to get more of that. Because I, I wish, I wish someone would have sat down with me when I was in that place to tell me, you know, you know, if, if you really just flip that, I, you know, I ain't being ugly or nothing, but if you just flip that anger, 
and to love, then you'll get more of that instead. Joy, you get more of that instead. And I know, I know it might seem, it might seem a little bit difficult, but, but you're bringing this on yourself. Because I know me, I would have listened to that person. That thought would have stayed in my subconscious mind. I'd be like, I'm bringing this on myself. How am I bringing this thing on myself? Oh, because I'm, I'm mad all the time, because I'm letting everything piss me off. Maybe that's it. Well, well I'm going to try, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to think a little bit better because I, I kind of want to get out this rut and I would keep on trying and I'll keep on trying because that's just me. That's just how I am. So if that's a reflection of me, I am hopeful that you will learn and grow because that's really all we're doing in this particular universe, in this matrix. We're learning, we're growing, and we're winning. We're not failing. We're not getting set back because that's a, each opportunity is a greater opportunity for us to connect with our higher selves. Yeah, let's say, uh-oh, what did I do to do the thing? Come on now. <laughs> hey, you scratch my ass. <laughs> That's funny. We are here. Thank you for being here. That's good. Hey, every day. Cherry. I'm mad now. You better stop it, Alex. <laughs> you better stop it right now. It's true. It's so true. It is so true. Here to remember the facts. Yeah. Hey, man. Yo, thank you for being here again. You remember yesterday? You was on that live yesterday with that, that particular guy, too. Give me more. Yes, Goddess Mercedes. Give me more. I want more of that thing. Give me more. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Hey, VYTL. VYTL? Every day. I am on the same beautiful, loving, abundant, and every day, yeah, every good thing frequency. I love that. I love how you worded that. Hey, loved one, you are a ball of fire. Hey, Spence, for hire. Thank you. Laws of attraction. Yeah, ha ha, real talk. Welcome, everyone. Hey, Kiki. I agree. Hi, love. Just a quick love send. Rock on. Thanks. Oh, God's herbs. That's what that is. It takes work. Thank you for being here, God's herb. It takes work to deprogram the mind. It really does. But, they, but you got to be consistent with it. You got to be consistent with it. You got to. I'm telling you from things that I've been through, you got to be consistent with it. Because you could fall off and then you back to the default setting of being pissed off or being angry. Mm -mm. Get back up. Be consistent with it. Be consistent with it. Don't be like them, them beginning of the year people that create them New Year's resolutions and then by February 14th, by that time, they done fell off. Now they have a whole contract, a year contract, and they ain't even going to the gym no more. No, no, no. You have a contract with your higher self. You said that you was going to remember that you were God. You said that you was going to come forth in physical form for the thrills and the chills of expansion. That's what you said before you forgot. Before you forgot. But now you hear forgotten one. Forgot that you picked the story. That you picked your mother, father, sister, brother. Whether it was good or bad. You picked that before you forgot. Now here you are in physical form trying to remember why you chose this. Because you knew that this was going to be a good beginning story so that you could make a hell of an end with it. That's why. Because you knew that you could not get it wrong. That's why. Because you knew that you would one day remember. That's why. So get to remembering. Ooh, I love that heart. Thank you, babe. <laughs> get to remembering. Yeah. Every day you go, there you are. Yeah. Everywhere you go, there you are. Yeah. Yeah, Spence. Exactly. You're welcome, Cherry. Haven't seen that pretty face in a while. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Yellowstone. <laughs> That's how you say that, Yellowstone. Thank you for being at Yellowstone. Yeah, thank you, Nick, um, Kiki, for welcoming everybody. IT guy. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Perfect. And see, see, a lot of people, I see question marks behind that. Perfect. Yes, I'm perfect. Yes, you're perfect. You're in the perfect spot. Right now, everything is perfect. Don't get it twisted. Even an angry lady, she's perfect. Because everything in this physical reality is, is in a perfect balance, right? We got to have some angry people, right? Right? In order for this thing to stay in balance. We got to have some angry people. It's more, it's, it, it needs to balance the number of, of people that are on their love and bliss and joy frequency. <laughs> but at the end of it all, it's a totality of God. Because God is both yin and yang. God is both that good and that so-called bad. That so-called devil and God, all is God. 
You see, God is both the head and the tail. In the biblical text, it said, I am the head and the, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the, the last, the author and the finisher. That, that's two-sided, baby. That goes in, 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 in sync with the law of polarity where all teams are two-sided. Funny. Thank you for being here, Exzilla. Yeah. Yeah, you have to mess with yourself and you start to see all the beauty life, have, life has to offer. Man, life is so beautiful. I mean, simple things, man, we, we miss it. Let me tell you, I'm the type of person that when I was younger, you know, I wanted to, you know, climb the corporate ladder because I thought that was the answer to it all, you know, climb the corporate ladder and maybe be in management and maybe excel and this and that and the third. And I, and I got there. I got that which I manifested. I remember the day that I manifested. I was in traffic. I was in, I was in construction in this job. I worked at this particular job that I retired from for 22 years. I was in construction side of the business, and I was on my way. But I had to pass the corporate building to get to my construction yard, you know, because I worked with a bunch of men out there, a bunch of linemen, right? But I wanted to be in corporate America. So one day I was in traffic. I was on the bridge. They call it the GNO, the Greater New Orleans Bridge in New Orleans, Louisiana. And you can see the Intergy building. That's the name of the company that I worked for for a utility company. And while I was in traffic, I sat there and feeling disgusted because here I was, I went to college two times. I had a degree that I was sitting on, but I wasn't doing anything in the field of what I went to school for. And so I began to meditate. I think nothing else was able to do in traffic. I wasn't going nowhere. And I said, I'm there. I jumped there. I imagine myself getting off there at that exit, right? <laughs> and maybe, maybe about two months later, probably less than that, I, I was um, just, just enjoying the moment in construction, doing a team building exercise, and they called me, asking me to come to the corporate building for a job. And I finally got where seemingly I had wanted to be Yeah, I finally got there. And then I realized, man, these people at the top, they don't they don't really have it figured out up here. These people at the top are really focused on the physical and, and, and I'm a spiritual being. These people on the top have everything, but at the end of the day, these people have nothing. These people at the top, not, not all of them, but some of these people at the top are really empty vessels. Really, really, I was happiest. Before I came here. So I was like, you know what, whatever it is at the top, I don't want that thing no more. Well, if, 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 if there's a ladder, knock that damn ladder down. I don't care if I fall upon my last, on my ass. I don't want to climb the so-called corporate America ladder no more. No, I don't want to go up there. Because what profit a man that he gained the whole world or he gained up here, but yet lose in here. And I, 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 I looked at these people in the eyes and I'm like, man, that's, that's not, this is not where I want to go. I, I want out of here. And the peace that I have of finally not sleeping on me, the joy that I have of doing the things that I love to do makes all the difference. It makes all the difference in my manifestation. It makes all the difference in my day. It makes all the difference in my sleep quality, the peace that I have when I lay my head on a pillow at night. I haven't had that in, in, in a long time at that level. I've had peaceful nights, but at that level of this now level where I am, where everything is just perfect. Because I'm in a perfect alignment and I'm looking for the perfect and I'm finding the perfect and I'm finding the good and I'm finding the love. Finally, because see, in corporate America, you know, we used to have to do things like that was really out of alignment from my so-called religion. And I'll call it my religion, you know, my spirituality. We would have to like, we would have to like write down near misses. We had to pay attention to the bad. We had to write down incidents. We had to pay attention to the bad. Then we had to go to the meeting and we had to talk about the bad. Yeah. And so I was, I was kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm going to turn it in. You know, I was like, oh, dang, I got to write this down. 
I don't want to write down this here because of what I just knew a little bit too much. And they, they, they more into the physical and I was more in the spiritual. And I knew just a little bit too much about the law of assumption and too much about the law of attraction. And oh, I really don't, I don't want to really talk about that incident. You want me to talk about it? You want to speak? Well, uh, I'm sorry, but my words, I need to be speaking my words impeccably back to the law, the four agreements, right? You, you want me to speak? Oh, man, but, but wait, if we go into religion, I know that there's power in my tongue. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, you want me to write it down? Well, oh, I don't want to cast that spell. I don't want to give, I don't want to give my attention to the things that I don't want more of. So, oh, now I'm not a team player no more. Oh, God damn it. I was trying to be part of the team. But how you feel really matters. That's how I knew that there was something for greater for me. How you feel matters. And when you go against the current, it's like life is smacking you. So there I was getting, getting smacked, going against the current of the things that I believed in. But boy, when I was able to manifest my early retirement, it was, all, it was like it until me being in Florida and just <sighs> releasing the resistance and allowing the waves to take me back to shore. Back to me, back to my passion, back to my heart's desire. And so when you get in alignment with your passion and the things that feel good, <laughs> and you work on your self-concept and you don't build yourself up, <laughs> if I be lifted up, <laughs> I'll draw all things unto me. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm God, you're a God, we're a God in human form. Having a human experience. Yeah. And in that experience, I gotta be perfect. I gotta be whole. Because life is happening through me. If I walk around angry, I'm gonna have a whole angry ass kingdom. If I walk around bitter, my bitter kingdom gonna be ahead of me. If I walk around with hurt from a little girl or a little boy, then, then I'm just gonna be an adult. That never made peace with the little girl or little boy inside of me because this is this is me, this is me, that's me, that's me, that's me. I'm everywhere. Yeah. I'm everywhere. And before you see me, before I open up my mouth, you're gonna see my aura energetically. And either is my aura either gonna be a magnet for you to be drawn to me or it's gonna repel you because I'm 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 not at peace. I'm not at balance with myself. I don't know myself. I never went inside of myself to get to know myself. Because I was doing what they wanted me to do, what this wanted me to do, what life wanted me to do. But I get out. <laughs> I had to get out. I had to get out of that and get in. To this because this here creates that you got to go into the darkness baby and sort out the chaos in here and then everything else will become light yeah yeah okay let's see i read that already thank you for sharing your knowledge and your high vibes you're welcome you're so welcome I see. Well spoken. Big facts. Hey, uh, D May Life. Thanks. Good afternoon, goddess. Hey, brown sugar. Thank you all for uh, dreaming loud. Well spoken. Thank you all for being here. I really enjoy these interactions with you all. And I thank you all for just hearing the things that, that be uh, flowing through me. Hearing the thoughts in my mind of how I see things. Because um, I believe that we are, we are powerful, man. I know we are. I believe we move mountains. I believe that we are the ancestors. I believe that we are the Anunnaki. I believe <laughs> that we are the ancient ones. I believe. I believe that. And I stand firm on that. <laughs> Remembering all over again our superpowers. And if you hang on with me, I'm going to keep on telling you over and over how powerful you are. And you know what's going to happen with that, me telling you over and over? It's going to become your belief if you're still a doubting Thomas out there. 
Because a belief is merely something that you've said over and over, and I'm merely your subconscious mind speaking to you. So I'm going to say it over and over and over and over and over until it becomes law for you. And then when it becomes law for you, you too will see that you're perfect, that you're God, that you have the power to create worlds. And it ain't, it ain't no ego in this because guess what? I want you to be greater than me. I want to tell you some things so that you could master this here thing and turn around and be greater than me. And you can do at me and say, look at what I created. <laughs> yeah, you told me about this law of assumption thing. Let me show you what I did. And as a proud teacher, I will humble myself and be exceedingly and abundantly happy for you because I want the best for you. So you really don't find really true leaders out here in TikTok social media world because you know some people get a little shy when you when you done told them some things that they weren't able to do. But I want you to do greater than me, baby. Be greater because I'm giving you all the tips that was really stumbling blocks in my time that I had a hard time. Because see, when I started with the law of attraction, it was like Abraham Hicks, you you leaving something out here? You you mean I'm attracting this here thing here? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. But how am I attracting? No, tell me more. It felt like something was being left out. But the little tip that really sent me over was, oh, my habitual thoughts. Those little sneaky things. So I'm telling you all the little stumbling blocks for me. And so when I evolved from the law of attraction and went over to the law of assumption and just assumed it, my life changed. I want your life to change because I am proud of you. I'm proud of all the things that you've been through and yet you're still here eager for more. I'm proud of where you are in life because guess what? You manifested that too. But I know that there's more for you. And I will not give up on you because there's greatness in you. And I know that. You know that. That's why you're still here listening to me tell you everything you need to know about you and your avatar to excel in this thing called life. You can never get this thing called life wrong, baby. You've been doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And anything that you might think was wrong, no, it turned out to be your good. Hold that door. If you're in your emotions, hold that door because I will show you how it turned out to be your good. Everything in my manifestations turned out to be my good. When I turn around and I look at them, man, that was for my good. Ooh, that was, that, I didn't marry so-and-so. Ooh, that was for my good. Yeah. I didn't go to such and such school. Ooh, that was, that was for my good. Oh, I didn't get that job. Oh, I remember when I wanted that particular job, but oof, that was for my good. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't um, buy that food truck right before COVID. Oh, that was for my good. Dang. <laughs> that was for my good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I had paid off that home. Oh, that was for my good. <laughs> oh, I had, I had up this year, this year money that I had and I invested it into, oh, that was for my good. Everything is working out perfectly for your good. You gotta trust it, though. You gotta trust it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm learning. He was a chaos demon, but I agree to it all. He was for your good. Renaissance woman. He was for your good. He was for your good. He 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 allowed that situation allowed you to become stronger. He was for your good. He, uh, it allowed you to see where you were in alignment for yourself and where you were out of alignment with yourself because guess what? A relationship is really only showing you who you are. Yeah. He was for your good. Yeah. Because you get to a place in your journey where your self-concept begins to increase because you get tired. You get tired of attracting the same type of reflections that may be dogging you out, that may be hurting you, that may be beating you, that may be cheating on you, and you become better. He was for your good. Then your self-concept gets so up to par that, that no, 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 no cheater's going to talk to you no more. No beater's going to talk to you no more. <laughs> no, they, 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 yeah, nah, you're too headstrong for that. They can see it as soon as you open up your mouth. They can see it when you're walking down the street because they see your aura, your energy shows itself first before people even, even know who or what you are. 
your energy. Your energy. People tell me I don't, I, I don't even have any makeup on or anything. Oh my God, your, your face is so beautiful. You're just glowing. When I walk in the room, oh, oh, you just demand respect. There's something about you. When I first saw you, oh, I had to come over and meet you. Who are you? Because the, the energy, your self-concept is walking in the room first. <laughs> it ain't about the ass like we might think. It ain't about our eyebrows like we might think. It ain't about that. It ain't about our nails like we might think. Mm -mm. It's your energy, your inner God, your inner self is what the world wants to see. Your inner being. Are you in alignment with it or you or not? That's what we see. He, oh, he ain't in alignment. Oh, oh, he in alignment. God damn. Something about him. Oh, he has charm. He has charisma. Oh, maybe it's his skin. Maybe it's his nose. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's his ass. No, 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 no. His energy is showing. Yeah. Yeah. Been through that initiation and learn my lesson yeah definitely you gotta learn a lesson and you you needed to go through that to learn so it was perfect it was necessary it's all necessary always and there's some people who don't learn the lesson on that first go round of a shitty relationship and they gotta get into another one and another one and another one and another one because it, some of them are, uh, some of us are so learners yeah but that's okay we can get it though some of us, oh, I, I, I often say some of us are on a slow bus, but that's okay. Everybody going to get to school <laughs> and we're going to get this lesson. It don't matter if you came to school on a slow bus. Guess what? These people on a slow bus know how to color better than, than the other ones. <laughs> yeah. We all learning. I like that. Faith into fitness. Hey, thank you for being here. Hey, Cynthia. Facts. Strengthening my testimony. Yeah. That's, that's all it, it, it is doing. Just strengthening your inner self, your inner being. And then so when you get to that place where you where you maybe evolve in the relationship that maybe become the ultimate relationship, you're going to be so happy. You're going to be like, oh, I'm so happy. I went through the relationship with so-and-so when I was at my lower self because I didn't have communication skills. And uh, I sure learned them after that relationship. So now I have communication skills for my new lover. Yeah, I know how to be. Or, oh, maybe I was just a little homely little lady back then. But shoot, I'm glad I went to that relationship because I know how to balance my yin and yang energy. I know how to be feminine and seductive. I know how to be fun and, 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 and sexy and all of these things all at the same damn time. I could do anything because of what I went through. So you'll be happy for those things because they were necessary. They're shaping and molding you and to the God that you said before you came forth in physical form that you had wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, so so if you was you came forth and before you came forth in physical form, you said maybe, hey, I'm gonna go down in physical form and then jump into this here avatar and I'm gonna pick this mother, this father. Oh yeah, I know they're gonna be shitty. It's gonna be rough, but guess what? I wanna do it. I wanna try. I can't get it wrong. I want to experience this thing called love. And so in saying that before you came forth in physical form to experience this thing called love, you had to go on a journey to understand with who love. What love is not before you could get to knowing what love is because love is understanding. So you had to go to all levels of it. You had to go to the shitty relationship. But boy, when that kingdom comes though, when you become what you say you were going to become, then you're in the ultimate relationship. And, 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 and first, before you meet that person in the physical form, first, it'll be the ultimate relationship with yourself, baby. Like, oh, God damn, I'm sexy. Oh, God damn, I'm perfect. Oh, God damn. Woo! So you got to get there first. <laughs> you got to be the love first. Be so freaking in love with yourself where you just want to lick and taste the goodness of yourself first before you want to taste somebody else. Where you want to just spend some quality time with me because God damn, my rabbit hole runs deep. <laughs> it got to, because like I said in the beginning of this video, as within, so without. You can't give them something that you don't have inside of it. Of you for you already. So this is the ultimate twin flame relationship that we all waiting for. It's the relationship with ourselves, with our inner being first. And so you know that you're in alignment with that when if somebody in the physical reality says, 
but you ain't gonna never ever ever meet that twin in the physical and how you respond lets you know if you're there or not because if you in alignment with yourself <laughs> your response gonna be like it really doesn't matter because I found the love that I was looking for I found me <laughs> you see what I'm saying but if you be like oh man that means he wasn't there because you gotta be the love you gotta be heaven in order to see heaven you gotta be love you gotta be the twin before you can see the twin that's how that thing go. That's beautiful. <laughs> that was really beautiful. Yeah. 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 Thank you. In the process of a divorce. And finally, my full power again. Yeah. That's so beautiful. And I would, if I was in that place, because I've been there before with my physical reality, I would say, baby, fall in love with you. Of all the dates that you're going on, Make a moment to date yourself. I'm talking about high heels, beautiful skirt, dress, makeup, and everything for you. I used to do that. I used to go sit and I used to go to Outback. And I would go sit at the, um, at the bar and I will be dressed. And every time I went there, there was always a man or somebody that would come and try to talk to me or buy my food or whatever. But I really wasn't doing it for that purpose but that's how it kind of like ended up it was for me to be alone with me and date me that was my me time i'd already been on dates for the week or whatever right and so and so i'd, I'd be like yeah yeah I'll, I'll tell them sometimes i would tell them yeah i'm waiting on somebody so they wouldn't you know try to get into conversation with me the whole night so i could be with me i would go to the movies sometimes and you know even even while dating you know even in relationships go to the movie sometimes by myself. Like, no, could I, could I go by myself this time? No, I just want to go watch some cartoons. You know, I'm just going to go watch Scooby-Doo. I know you don't like Scooby-Doo like that. I just want to go just laugh and just be with myself. Baby, date yourself. Fall in love with yourself. Deal with yourself. Understand yourself. Because it all starts with self. Understand why. Why I get mad when, when, when he talking to other girls, you know, ladies, whatever, right? Why I get mad? Why... Why I don't know what to do when nobody around? Why I gotta be around people all the time? You gotta figure these things out about yourself, like right? What what makes me feel sexy? What kind of clothes make me feel sexy to me? You know, not because of a man, for me. You know, um, what do I like to sleep in? You know, how do I like to smell? What makes me horny and why? Why do I get horny when I see such and such a thing? Why is that? How do I please? How do I please me? How, what makes me get an orgasm? You know, what, what do I got to do? How? And, but why? Because you need to know how to please yourself mentally, sex, sexually, financially, physically, emotionally first. Before you expect somebody else outside of you to know how to do those things for you that you don't even know how to do for yourself. That would be my advice, baby. That would be my advice. And boy, when you go down that rabbit hole to explore yourself like that, man. The confidence that you have. The joy, the peace, and you have for yourself is unshakable. It's unshakable. And that way, that way, if like I'm not saying that this, I foresee this, but if like a separation type, divorce type energy was to ever come your way again, you have mastered it because you have mastered the emotions behind it. Because you were complete when you felt, when you first met this next person, and you'll be complete after they leave. And so divorce or ending would not be a scare for you. See, this is why we oftentimes have to repeat things over and over in our physical reality, because the emotion that we had tied to it after it ended, we didn't learn a lesson because we were supposed to be going with the flow and allowing the current to take us to the next thing. We got so bent out of shape. So now we got to re- Go through that class. Like, we got to take that class over because we didn't pass that test like we were supposed to emotionally, energetically. So the universe has to send us more characters, you know, different characters to play the same damn story. So we got to go through another divorce, another separation, because we didn't feel whole and complete 
before and after and we didn't we didn't allow the current to take that person away and just say bye i had fun oh that was a great experience <laughs> yeah that boy that was a beautiful lesson learned let's see thank you okay i read that one um i encourage you to continue to walk in peace and go toward the unknown, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's some good advice that Faith uh, gave right there. Walk toward it, baby. That unknown, boy, that's what the drill was at, I promise you. I'm in a whole unknown state right here, and I feel like a little child just exploring. This is a manifestation that I created, and I'm, I feel like a little child exploring. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, the other day, I, I, I laughed. You know, I didn't have any orders that I had to um, send out or no consultation, so I was seemingly free, right, from my personal job, my personal business, like, right? And so I went on a journey just to go ride, and, you know, I'm in Arizona. They got mountains and stuff, and, and so I was like, I've been using the GPS to go everywhere. I don't want to use the GPS today. I want to maybe get lost. <laughs> so I just went, I just started driving and listening to music. I don't know where the heck I was, like, right? It was daytime, so I wasn't concerned about that, and I, it just felt so interesting me exploring and so and i had never seen a trader joe's down here i used to love trader joe's in in new orleans they had one in metairie that i used to frequent and so i was i was gonna stop to go get me some snacks from whole food store instead out here wherever the city was that i was lost in anyway i turned the corner and right next to whole food store was trader joe's and i was like oh my god Trader Joe's, I didn't think I ever was going to see you again. <laughs> so the unknown just, just brings out the little girl, the little boy inside of you. Like, oh my God, I can explore it. I can be excited and I can be happy because I don't know what to expect next. I'm just allowing the current to take me there. Yeah, because it's all about the journey of getting there. Once you're there, like once you get the car, once you get the house, you know, you kind of get a little content. And all you think about was, oh, that journey, I remember. Just like I was explaining to y'all about the journey of me manifesting. Oh, I remember. So while you're in the journey, make it all about the journey. Because that's where the thrills and stuff at. Because, look, I done manifested this home, right? I'm in this home and I still have thrills for this home. But guess what? I'm working on another manifestation now because I love the journey. <laughs> and I know you too. you just like me. You're the reflection of me. So I know you too. Love the journey. So enjoy the journey while you're in it. And the journey be in that unknown, baby. Ooh, the unknown, like, ooh, when it's coming. Is it going to be enough tomorrow? Ooh, well, what's over there? Well, let me explore this while I wait on my manifestation because there's something over there. Something, some reason, something over there is calling me. Let me go see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm learning. He was a chaos demon, but I agree to it all. Disagree. Disagree. Yeah, disagree. Disagree and work on you, babe. I like that. Faith and Kidney says, wow, I like that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm trying to catch up. I've been through that. Oh, okay. I read that one over there. It's always energy because energy never lies. It sure don't. We lie, but our energy don't. Our energy don't. You can, We can see people on TikTok just lying in a little lace so over, right? <laughs> we be knowing they lying, like, yeah, but our energy don't. Yeah. Feel like a little child. Yes, me too. Yeah. And that's the perfect. They even talk about that in the biblical text. Like if you don't come to God as a little child, you can't make it into the kingdom. Because you, you need to use that human imagination. You need to use those feelings. You need to use that inquisitive side of you to get there. Yeah. That's key. That's key. I really enjoy your accent. Oh, hey. Thank you. Oh, that's Justin. Hey, Justin. Justin back. That's beautiful. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate that. Yeah, Arizona is a real high energy place. You are so right about that, Tiffany. It's so, oh my God, it is so high energy. I went working out earlier today and I, I looked to my right and I saw the mountains and the sun shining on the mountains like it was the exact mountain. If, you know, if I really believed in physical form of the allegory tech, if it was the exact mountain that Jesus in, in them disciples was just hanging, they would, I would say it was out right now. <laughs> Jesus and the disciples, all of them, there was, I saw the disciples going to sleep over there, right there by that mountain. That's how high energy, 
<laughs> the mountains out here feel. It's just like heaven on earth to me. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you got to get content? Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Oh, thank you. It's your girl. It's your girl. Okay, it's your girl. <laughs> I love your accent. I'm pretty sure you have an accent too over there. It's your gal. That sounds like something somebody from New Orleans would say. It's your gal. It's your gal. You heard me? That's what they'll say out there. <laughs> You're welcome. What's the point? You're welcome. <laughs> it's your gal. What I get for this live is that when we know self, we know God. Yes! Well, I'm glad you got that out of it. To know thyself is to know God. Because I am a father of one. Yeah, that's who we would get. Yeah. Because that's, that's God is the breath that we breathe. Like, right? I breathed breath into man and he became a living soul. We God experiencing itself. Yeah. Wow, you're so excited to see me. Yeah, I thought about you after I got off that live. You know what I thought? Let me share with you what I thought. That uh, my higher self told me to tell you, Justin, yesterday. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of where you are and how far you come in your journey, Justin. You're perfect, Justin. It's pretty much what I was saying earlier because I actually thought of you when I was saying this. I don't know if you was here earlier, but that was part of what I was saying to you that I meant to tell you on yesterday. You can't get this thing called life wrong, Justin. You have an internal guidance that's leading you, Justin. Leading you to lives like this, Justin. Everything's okay. Be easy on yourself, Justin. That's what I thought of. And I'm glad you're here so that you could hear that was words coming from me instead of telepathic, telepathic communication to you. Yeah. I said, I'll be in Arizona this weekend. Oh, masterpiece. What you coming out here? They got a retreat or something? They got something going on that I need to come to. You know people out here. Tiffany says, yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Tiffany says, I came in late on after watching post on being called. Oh, okay. Hi, um, bomb, bomb, SR. Bump. Am I saying that right? What's good, queen? Hey, Frederick. Thank you for being here, Frederick. Frederick up in here, y'all. Yeah, let's see. Justin said, I don't deny that. I'm perfect. Well, you go ahead on, God. <laughs> the accent is from New Orleans or where? Yeah, I'm from New Orleans. Yeah, yes, I am. Yeah, come as a child. They believe every word. Yeah, they do. Like as a child, you can tell a child all kind of things, and they be like, "Really, Daddy? Really?" And they just, from what you told them, they make up some big thing in their human imagination. Like, right? And so that's what I'm saying here. Like finding the good. Like. Oh, it didn't, such, such and such, did it work out? <gasps> really, it didn't work in? Well, guess what? Something's better is gonna happen. You know, just get like a child again. <laughs> and it shall be. <laughs> I do it, I do it. And you know, and that's why the law of assumption was so fun for me and so like a pivotal turning point for me because even in my alone times in life, like, I'm acting like a child, trust and believe. Sometimes I record myself, but that's the norm for me. So it's like, oh, I get it. The law of assumption, just assume this thing. Oh my God. And so I just go down this little portal like of imagination, of everything being possible, because it really, really is. And if you done cut yourself off on that side of your um, life or your imagination, you really just cut yourself off from God. <laughs> because God works through that first eye, whatever you call it, your pineal gland, your third eye, you know, your human imagination, subconscious mind, oh, your universe, whatever you call this, this is what God works through. <laughs> you cut yourself off from that, man, it's like you're dead. This is why in the biblical text, Jacob that wrestled with God said, I have seen God face to face and I have lived. And he was on this place they called Pineal, right? Pineal gland, right? I have seen God face to face and I've lived because God lives within 
human imagination, your subconscious mind, which lets you into infinite intelligence, everything being possible, your superpowers, your connection to the super consciousness, which is the source. This is why Jesus would say, I am the father of one. When you see me, you see the father because he or that energy, that parable was telling you, I'm connected to it again. I'm alive again. I ain't the dry bones no more. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. When you tap back into this. <sighs> yeah, yeah. In my back, y'all can hear me? Let me know if y'all can hear me again. I'll be tuning in more. Love it here. Well, thanks. I'm glad you came. What's the point? Connecting with sacred grounds. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful masterpiece. It is. They have, um, you know, and they were telling me, some of the people here was telling me that, you know, you be careful, like speeding, though I don't speed or whatever, but the tickets are high or whatever because they, they, they reverence, you know, the, um, the indigenous, indigenous people or, or places, certain areas up in here. And um, you'll get a higher like ticket for speeding or whatever because it's like disrespectful to like the ancestors and stuff like that. Like they're really serious about it in some places too. So I think that's beautiful. I really do. What's good, people? What's good, Frederick? Have you read? Ask, and it is given. As yeah, 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 yeah. Esther and Jerry Hicks. Yeah, I've been following Esther and Jerry, but um. For a long time, years. So I have all the books, the cards, the CDs, and I sometimes, you know, I just like um, if I'm thinking about something, you know, you could kind of like put in Abraham Ham Hicks, um, uh, health or Abraham Hicks job, just to kind of like see what she would say about that as it pertains to the law of attraction. You know, that's what I used to do in my journey when I was in certain places in my life. Cause she has pretty much a video on YouTube about all kinds of situations. Even going to um, litigation, I saw one about litigation on there, like as it pertains to the law of attraction. She's she's really good. She's really good. The law of assumption. Yeah, Justin, tap into that. <sighs> Wow, it sounds like you're manifesting that ticket. What ticket? I thought you really knew me. I don't know what you're talking about, Justin. What ticket? I talked about a ticket? I don't know. This um got to be a record. <laughs> oh, hey, Kilo. That's Kilo there, y'all. Yeah. I'm not one to assume. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes your words... I'm not sure what I said about a ticket. I manifested a ticket? What ticket? I don't know what you're talking about, Justin. I'm sorry, I'm lost. <laughs> but anyway, that was the video. That was the just of the video. I just wanted to talk about, you know, people making you angry. You know, people, we will use them as to get ourselves. Sorry, I'm simple. Sorry, I'm simple. Oh, okay. We use them to, um, as a reason or excuse to get ourselves out of alignment with ourselves. And at your best, you were at your best when you were in alignment with yourself. So work on what's inside of you because the only things that's inside of you can you give to other people. Seriously. I manifested you. I needed some positivity before I threw this work computer across the room. <laughs> yeah, you know, because like we were talking about that earlier and I how we create our own reality. And so the reason being for you probably wanting to throw the computer across the room is because you're probably not in alignment with your true purpose and your true self. You probably don't want to do the job that you're doing, I'm pretty sure. And so you, in your journey, I've been there. So find the thing that you do love to do. Find the thing that you do love to do and start doing it when you're not on that computer. And use that time when you're on that computer to be in the now moment and find the good. To find the good in the fact that you know how to type, maybe, while you're typing with the words that you probably don't like to type. 
find the good in the working relationships because I know you got to have some good connects or some people, somebody on the job who you do like. Find the good in knowing, okay, this person here is really cool. I'm glad that this person here works with me. Find the good in whatever computer app that you really like the most. You know, like maybe you don't like Excel, maybe you like PowerPoint. So find the good when you're doing your PowerPoint presentations or whatever it is. But in that job, you got to find the good. You got to find the good because if you hold on to wanting to throw the computer against the room, you've created resistance with that job. And creating resistance with that job going to keep you on that job longer. The way that I previously was talking about how I manifested another job in corporate America, but the way that I was able to leave job number one was when I let go of the resistance of not actually wanting to be there. And so I started doing team building um, exercises. I do, started doing morning um, stretching and, and telling them, giving them tips about health and wellness. These were linemen I was talking to, okay? I worked in construction with linemen. I got put on that particular job. I'm talking about the first one, not the one that I manifested. This was a different department. The first one, I got placed on that job because the company had went to, through a, re -or, a reorganization and they just was putting people in certain places. So they put me in a place that I did not want to be. I had just got a degree. I didn't want to be in construction. I wanted to be in corporate America using my degree. And so what I did in construction, knowing that I had a passion, knowing that I know so much about health and wellness, knowing that I knew so much about exercising and I knew so much about food, I had a congregation. I had somebody to give that information to. They were looking for people to give ideas of what they could say at safety meetings. So six o'clock, morning sunrise, there was I. I found the good, I found me a little spot to fit in, to milk the good in my so-called shitty experience. And so in the mornings, I had a little whiteboard and they told me when I did early retirement, they said, don't forget, don't forget us because we was your guinea pigs. That's what they said to me. But in the morning sunrise, I had a little whiteboard and I would write on there some foods that they could eat and then I would teach them about pink Himalaya sea salt and I would go on my dime before I went, came into work, I had things like cherries, I had things like kiwis that I was showing them and telling them, okay, hey guys, if you're having trouble eating at night, here's some cherries because cherries help with melatonin and help you sleep and feel good and it alleviates pain. And it is good brain food. It is, a, it is a fruit. I'm not talking about the kind that comes in the little jar, you know, that you put on the turkey for Thanksgiving. You got to get the real cherry. Here is a real cherry. There's going to have real cherries in the break room before you guys get on your truck to go for your day. Go and get you some cherries. I will teach them about the minerals and pink Himalaya sea salt. I will teach them stretching exercise. I would teach them how to, to circulate energy by stumping on the floors, like, right? I would teach them about how when you tap your hands together, that you're actually stimulating the nerve endings that leads to all the organs in your body, from the palm of your hands and the soles of your feet. So I would have them in the morning doing like this here before they left. I would tell them to exercise and, and stretch, and I would, I would tell them to squeeze the back of your, your, um, your lower back. This is where your kidneys are right here. You know, teaching them health and wellness about their body. I would teach them how to be quiet and still their mind. I would tell them to close their eyes while I say such and such. And then I would tell them, imagine that you just went home and you know you had you had this horrible day but as soon as you went home everything was perfect and imagine you you were a great provider you're so strong you're so this and you could be doing have anything da, 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 da. I had written something down and while the eyes were closed in the sunrise I was teaching them all the things that was inside of me because I was finding me in my so-called shitty experience and so when I got the call to get the new job guess where I was I was outside and we were playing basketball we were doing Doing team building exercises we were playing basketball and we were we were having a great experience and I was falling in love with where I was in order to get where I wanted to be that's the trick you gotta be heaven to see heaven you gotta be happy to be happy <laughs> that's the trick and so when they called me for their job I literally said oh I got another job. 
I was just starting to have fun. I promise you, I promise you, and I did not like that job. I didn't like it. <laughs> but I started to love it, and then it was over. You passed the test. It's over now. That's all we wanted you to do. Just have fun. I just wanted you to enjoy the journey. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lord knows I'll be trying. Yeah. Just do it. That's such a lovely story. You tell it so well. It's my truth because I know that's what it takes. But I have to get out of here. You got to get out of here first, though. You you you, you got to unleash the shackles here first. That's the key to that. You got to. If you're sick, and then I know it could be hard, like, right? And I know it could sound a little challenging, like, right? Even for sick people. If you're sick, you, you, you got to at least think about not being sick first. About being well already first. That's that's the trick. That's the trick. When you do that, you can do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. I've been on here long enough. I'm about to go do um, some of my um, business. Business work. But, I'm thankful for you all. And you could do anything that you put your mind to. You know that already. And sometimes, often, most often than not, it'd be the fear. The fear of how powerful we are. Okay? That's the biggest fear. You're God in human form. You can't get this thing called life wrong. You can't. And the key, key, uh, Kilo, when you're ready to leave, you're going to be very, very tired. You're going to remember the words that you typed here. And you're going to say, God darn it, I'm going to try this. And you're going to hold the momentum of trying it, of being happy where you are now. And bam, you're going to be able to release the resistance and you're going to find something else that brings you way more joy. Until then, enjoy your journey. Be blessed, babe.